It's a problem that we've all pretty much experienced, but we're going to tackle ghosting and how to prevent that today on Rob Studio. Hey there, welcome to my studio. I'm Rob Reap. Today we're talking about ghosting. Now, if you're a beginner painter, if you've only been painting for a year, maybe two years, you might not have heard the term yet. But I'm going to bet at some point you'll either hear it or it might have already showed up in some of your work and you may just not know it or you may have seen it and just not known what to call it. But ghosting is very simple. Every canvas uh, over a certain size, usually over an 8x10, uh, something like that, will have a support beam. Might have two, might have ten. It depends on how large the canvas is. This one only has one support beam because it's a 12 by 16. Um, and what ghosting is is when you are painting, if you're like me, I'm a heavy painter, so I like to really take my brushes and go after the canvas. I press hard on them, I treat them like they're a concrete surface, <laughs> almost. Um, but when I press really hard, that canvas, even though this is a Masterpiece Pro and it's got a tight, tight stretch, it's gonna give a little, okay? And if you're using a 7 8 inch canvas, Possibly, and even, even on larger canvases this can happen uh, with deep, deeper sets, if you're pressing too hard against that canvas, this crossbar will actually touch the canvas. And as you're doing so, you end up touching that bar with your brush, over with the canvas laying on top of it, of course. You may not even notice it before it's done, but once it's done and it dries, I might not even have to dry for you to realize this, whether you're an acrylic or an oil painter, if you're using a stretched canvas, this can happen. But if you're pressing against that by accident, pressing too hard, and you're, you're actually going over that, uh, that support bar, that support beam, you could end up actually getting a slight color variation, and that bar will actually show through. Hence the term ghosting, because the bar is there, but it's not there, you know. Um, so, and, and this is not something that just the untrained that just the trained artist can spot. Uh, if you were if you were just a lay person that never looks at art, you walk into a room, I bet you could probably see a painting if it's got ghosting because it's usually very clear and it's because it's such a direct line. These bars do create if you if you accidentally do have a have a, a little bit of ghosting showing through, uh, and usually it'll be on the whole canvas if it happens, but it can really, really ruin a painting. So how do we fix it? What do we do? How do we avoid it? That's the question. And this doesn't just go, I know a lot of you out there are thinking, well, I don't, use, I don't use these really nice Masterpiece Pro canvases. I use maybe a Master's Touch canvas from, from, uh, from Hobby Lobby, or um, maybe I purchase you know, the, the Michaels brand canvas. I forget exactly what it's called, but it can happen to all of you. And honestly, the cheaper the canvas, the more likely it, it can, can happen to you. But it can even happen on, on, on Masterpiece Pro canvases. I promise you, it's happened to me. Um, and here's my rule, okay? This is a 7 8 inches deep canvas, okay? I've got another one here that I'll show you here in a second that's an, that's an inch and a half. But if you're using a 7 8 inches uh, deep canvas, um, you really have to watch what size canvas it is to decide if you have a threat for ghosting or not. First thing you need to do though is decide Am I a heavy painter or am I a light painter? Some of you are very gentle with your canvases when you paint, and that's fine. That's your style. I'm not. A lot of you out there are probably like me. You're not very, very, uh, very easy on your canvases. You really put them through, put them through the ringer. Um, and if you're doing that, then you need to watch out. Again, this is a 12 by 16 Masterpiece Pro. It's got one crossbar. So for this particular canvas, I'm not going to worry about ghosting. For some reason or another. Um, the smaller the canvas, the less likely it is, for me at least, that ghosting is going to actually occur. So I wouldn't worry about ghosting on this one, for me. Uh, 7 8 inches is fine, up to a certain size. Once I get to an 18 by 24, and I've got one right here, if I can get it. Again, this is the same thing, this is a Masterpiece Piece Pro canvas, but I've already got this one... Um, got this one toned for a painting that I'm going to be doing pretty soon. Uh, this one only has one crossbar. Okay, there it is. And as they get larger, again, you might have a crossbar down the middle and then you'll, you'll have more and more crossbars. Um, 
And the reason, I, when I get up to an 18 by 24 inch minimum, this is my minimum size. Once I get up to this point, I start using an inch and a half deep canvas. And if you'll notice, I don't know if you guys can see this, I'll try to show you. It is super deep. I can fit, I can fit, you know, a full finger length in there. Once I press on this, it's probably, no matter how hard I press my brush, uh, with it's just not going to be able to touch this back, this back bar. Okay, if I was using an 18 by 24, 7 8 inches, so I'll kind of compare them for you. Okay, look at the size difference there. If I'm using the 7 8 inches, that's on this size canvas, this size canvas, this 18 by 24, I'm under real threat of, of having, um, having ghosting actually, actually starting to appear. So my recommendation to all of you at home is, is if you pick a canvas um, eight, uh, which is 18 by 24 or larger, go with an inch and a half deep um, set because your crossbars are going to be further back off of the canvas, which is going to help prevent ghosting. Uh, and it, and it's, it's, it sounds so simple to be able to just, okay, well, I'll get an inch and a half, but a lot of people don't. They like that. It's a little bit different framing option for, for a 7 8 inch. Uh, but I really do recommend that once you go over, once you hit that 18 by 24 size, go with an inch and a half deep. Uh, and it does not matter what brand of canvas you're using. Again, th this fella right here, this is a Masterpiece Pro. This is this is the Rolls Royce uh, of, of canvases. And even I, even these guys, I've had canvases that I've had ghosting happen on, uh, which I've, I've had it on a 30 by 40. Um, the painting that is actually currently behind me right here, this big fella, is a 30 by 40. It happens to be a 7 8 inches deep uh, Masterpiece Pro Canvas, which is kind of kind of different for me. I normally don't do that, but um, I had a little bit of an, an, an ordering uh, problem that happened, and I ended up getting getting this one in and, and, and uh, bought it from DickBlick.com. Uh, they allowed me just to keep it, even though uh, it wasn't what I ordered, so... Uh, I just decided to go ahead and do a painting on it. I'm being very careful, uh, especially when I get near the center because it's got two crossbars and they are actually wider. So it would be much more noticeable um, than anything else. Uh, but I'm being very careful down the middle uh, uh, in that cross section and um, I'm just having to, having to take it a step at a time. But, but that's what ghosting is. You know, be on the lookout for it because it is something that can drastically, drastically uh, harm the painting. It can ruin it. It can really ruin it, folks. And I, I don't want you guys to, to go home and paint this gorgeous, beautiful, gobsmackingly gorgeous painting and then have, you know, crossbars showing through. So that's that's kind of a, a, a big negative that we want to avoid. I hope you've learned a little bit by this. Again, just for, again, my recommendation, um, if you're working on a stretched canvas that is under the size of 18 by 24 inches, you can get a 7 8 inch uh, deep canvas and it'll be fine. If you hit that 18 by 24 mark, I recommend moving to a one and a half inch um, deep inset, um, deep canvas uh, to actually paint on. And that will most likely, even for a heavy painter like myself, that will help you to avoid um, the, the, the devil that is ghosting in the art world. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you don't mind, if you like this, if it helps you out, please hit the subscribe button and also give us a big thumbs up. Um, share this share this page with a friend also and try to try to get us to a, to a hundred um, um, hundred likes on here as well. I'd, I'd love to get a hundred likes on this video, but um, we just want to keep pumping up our subscription list. So help us out with that as well. You guys have a wonder wonderful wonderful day. Keep painting and God bless.